And they have a nice little selection of pops here on their shelf. So you're going across right here. Again, pretty surprised by all the stuff they have here. Hey YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel web for all things geeky and cool. And welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, I want to touch base about a brand new complex store I kind of stumbled onto. I didn't know the place existed in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. I went to a street art festival about a week or so ago, and the whole point of the street art festival, they had artwork that was done on the street with chalk, and only in chalk uh, pastel colors. That's all they did, and it was a competition to see what type of drawings people would make. You know, after it would rain, the stuff would wash away, so usually they would judge it daily because they don't know the weather conditions that would happen, and all that work could be lost before they do their judging. And I shot basically content for two YouTube shorts. One was for the Mandalorian chalk art, the other one was for the Green Ranger for Power Rangers. You can find them on my channel right now underneath the short section. You'll see the Mandalorian and the Power Rangers if you haven't yet seen it. I definitely advise checking it out. It's really cool artwork. So, beside the point there, I went in, when I was at the Lake Worth area, they had a, a storefront on the side. I kind of was walking down and didn't even know this place existed. And there was a comic book store there. I said, wow. Me and my wife were like, wow, they have a comic book store. In the front of the comic book store, they had a table set up with a lot of Funko Pops. I said, this is my place. My people are here. Let me go inside. So I got the okay from the owner for this place called Cat 60 Comics. Kind of a little plug to them. Uh, if, you have, if you're in the Lake Worth Beach area, take a look at them. I said in the video it's a big storefront. It's kind of smaller than I kind of lead on to because they had to make a lot of, uh, of cutbacks to their space because they kind of pushed into a little building area. It looks much kind of larger on film than it is walking through the place. It's kind of tiny actually. But they had a lot of Funko Pops, they had a lot of sign Pops, they had a lot of graded comics. That kind of drew my attention to this location. I mean, you'll see that coming up in this walkthrough video and be doing preceding this kind of intro portion of this particular video. And I picked up two items at that particular uh, location, which we'll discuss at the end of the video, and it'll be more of a kind of show and tell sort of thing, or because I'm not going to do a full breakdown, because that'll be in another video upcoming. Stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I want to thank all my viewers and subscribers. If you like this sort of content, smash the like button and subscribe. One little click from you means a lot for me. I want to get my channel monetized. I really want to get the channel up and running. That's why I'm doing YouTube shorts. But I only can do it with your guys' help and your guys' dedication as well as my own. So sit back and enjoy Cat60 Comics, a little walkthrough, and then come back to me to discuss the two items I picked up. Stay tuned, guys. Great walkthrough coming at you. What's going on, guys? Your boy Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness. I'm at Lake Worth. Beach, Florida, and I decided to go to an uh, art festival they have going on for a lot of uh, uh, chalk painting. But I noticed they have a comic store here, Cat 60 Comics. I didn't know this place existed. And they have a nice little selection of pops here on their shelf. So you're going across right here. Again, pretty surprised by all the stuff they have here. Looks pretty good. Give it a magic. And some dice. And some even some DD. Woo! Books. A lot of important stuff here. Uh, went over to this wall over here. Bunch of books. Uh, I didn't even know this was a thing, quite honestly. Didn't know it was a, a place that existed. It was completely off my radar. Uh, <laughs> I had no clue what was going on. Uh, they have a lot of Funko product, which makes your boy Rook happy here. Woo! So I'm very, very happy about that. We got some Mulner action. Even they have a signed Emma Frost. So uh, a lot of cool stuff here at this location. Again, never been there. Never knew this place existed. Uh, walls of uh, Pops. You can see that right here. I'll go through them real quickly here so you can see kind of what they have. Got the okay from the owner to uh, shoot some content. That makes your boy happy. Again, a lot of Pops here. Still surprised to see a place like this in uh, in uh, Lake Worth Beach, Florida. I didn't even, again, know it was a thing here. Wolverine, the classic book, signed. Uh, a lot of their graded stuff here, as you can see. Apologies for the glare. But I've got a lot of cool stuff here, guys. A lot of cool stuff. Again, it caught me by surprise. Didn't know it was a thing. Your boy had no clue. Woo! Woo! So you can see me here on camera now, a little bit drizzled. <laughs> it is hot out in beautiful South Florida, so... Uh, as you can see here, guys, I'm spinning around, so you can see it is a pretty big store here. Uh, <laughs> at least uh, from my perspective here, guys. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. 
And that's Cat 60 Comics in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. Again, I didn't even know the place existed. I stumbled across the location doing a street art festival. A really cool place, all things considered. Small location, but I really hope they do well in the near future. Kind of shout out and plug to them. But I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I picked up two items. And I want to showcase off really quickly. I'll do more of a breakdown video review for these particular guys. There are two Mandalorian Pops. The first one is the Glow in Dark Entertainment Earth Pop, which is this one. I got him for about $20 US. I'm not going to do a breakdown of him right now because that's going to be a standalone video for that particular pop. But a really cool pop of Mandalorian holding his blast rifle. Looks really, really cool. And the other one is the Funko Insider Club. I didn't even know this existed. It's another Glow in Dark Pop. Uh, I'm going to showcase the Glow in Dark functionality when I do these separate videos for them. But again, $20 for this guy as well. Uh, I'm really happy to pick up both these pops. I, I was surprised that they had them at this location. Completely caught me off guard. I'm really happy to, show, to, to really pick them up and showcase them off to you guys, the viewers and subscribers. Again, there'll be a standalone video separate that will talk about these particular videos, and I'll probably take that particular idea and build what I call an evolution video, which will be kind of the change of the character, showing it from the character beginnings to kind of where he is in his latest form of continuity. I did that with the Bubba Fett stuff. I did it with Ahsoka. Same sort of idea. I'm going to do it with Mandalorian. I had to get enough Mandalorian pops for me to do that, and now I have, a, I think I have enough now in my collection to really showcase off a good kind of swath of all the Mandalorian kind of evolution of where he was to where he is now. So that's going to be a video again in the pipeline and I hope you do enjoy that sort of content and more importantly I hope you enjoyed this content again showcasing off Cat60 Comics. Big plug to them and remember to click that like button on the page, click that all important subscribe button. When you subscribe to the channel click the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. Of course last but not least click videos here and here to watch more content. Stay tuned guys see you next video and bye bye.